Hi beautiful, welcome to my channel. In today's video we have a Lisa Eldridge haul. I finally got the full size of the foundation and I bought more lipsticks, I bought her highlighter and I don't remember what else. But we are going to unbox everything in this video. I'm going to finally be trying the full size of the foundation in the shade that I chose for myself. I'm also going to be trying her liquid illuminator and I have some more lipstick shades to try. I'm super pumped because I tried Lisa Eldridge for the first time recently and I fell head over heels in love so I just could not wait to have more of her products and so in this video we will be trying them out. If you guys like the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also if you're new to my channel please subscribe before you leave. With that said let's go ahead and get started. Okay so here are the goods. Okay, so first things first, we have the foundation. This is the newest, the most exciting thing. I ended up picking mine up in number 14. That was the color that I liked from the samples that I got. And um, this is what it looks like right over here. So it doesn't have a flat base. The base is kind of right here on the side. I don't know, I'm really excited about it. This was one of the best foundations I have ever tried. So I'm very excited to put it on again today. It came with a little information pamphlet and it has some key active ingredients. It's got Nasturtium extract. It's a plant-derived biotech that has been shown to boost oxygen levels on the skin to ensure a healthy glow day after day. In addition, it helps strengthen the skin barrier, boost hydration and smooth the skin. It also has green tea extract which helps stimulate the skin's own defense system to protect from free radical damage. So it helps to reduce inflammation and premature aging. And Filmexcel, which is a brilliantly clever bipolymer network that forms a resistant and flexible mesh on the skin. Three minutes after application, the bipolymer sets delivering a subtle lifting tightening and smoothing effect. It also acts as a natural barrier against pollution and irritants in the atmosphere. Finally, it has bamboo stem extract, which is naturally rich in silica. It helps absorb excess sweat and sebum for a soft and velvety finish without drying the skin. That all sounds really good and I totally believe it because this foundation was truly special when I first tried it. Besides the foundation, this is the other thing that I'm super excited about and this is the Elevated Glow from Lisa Eldridge. So from what I understand, this is supposed to kind of be like the Hollywood Flawless Filter from Charlotte Tilbury. I'm going to give it a little swatch right there. You guys can see exactly where I put it right there on my wrist. It gives my skin a little bit of an extra boost of radiance. Now, I don't know if it's supposed to look like this, but you see how mine is like bumpy? Like there's a lot of little bumps in there. I mean, I guess that's fine because it blends out nicely. Let me know if yours also has like little balls of pigment inside it. And then, of course, I had to pick up more lipsticks. So I picked up one more velvet lipstick. This one is a velvet ribbon. And I love my Lisa Eldridge velvet jazz lipstick so much that I had to pick up another red. I am so excited to put this on. And finally, I picked up one of these. I think this is her newest gloss formula. I got mine in the color Mousse. And this is what it looks like right here. I definitely wanted to pick up more things, but I stopped myself because we were getting over the $200 mark and I didn't want to be there, okay? So these are the four items that we'll be trying today and I'm just super pumped for it. So first things first, I want to use the illuminator as a primer. I picked mine up in the color Cosmic Rose and I'm going to put a little bit right here. I'm going to use it like I use my Charlotte Hollywood Flawless Filter. I've heard from some of you that you like the Lisa Eldridge one even better. We will see because I'm pretty in love with my Hollywood Flawless Filter. And I have my Sonia Kashuk sponge right here to blend it out. I noticed that she only has three different colors in these and I can totally see why now they are pretty clear. They just kind of have this nice youthful reflex to it so that totally explains why there aren't that many colors of it you guys can definitely see where i placed it 
So let's go in with the foundation next. Again, I got mine in the color 14. And with a sponge, I'm just going to blend it all over my face. I have to admit, this is my perfect skin color right here. Like, take a look right there. Right? It covers all of the redness immediately. And my favorite thing about it is that it looks so smooth. <laughs> okay, forehead last. Let me lower the lights. This is my first time wearing this color all over my face because last time I had to use two colors combined and one of them was a little bit too yellow. Then I chose this one to pick up for the full size. So this is the first time I have the color that I chose all over my face and uh, talk about perfect looking skin. Um, as you can see, it's got a beautiful medium coverage because you can see some freckles through it still, but all of my redness is covered, all of it is gone, and my skin looks really nice and perfected and extremely natural looking. It doesn't look like I'm wearing makeup, and I love that. I'm going to add a little bit more right here, right here. Take a look right there. And you can definitely see where I put the highlighter underneath. See how like this doesn't really shine too much, but right there where you saw me put the highlighter underneath, I have more of a glow, right? I am extremely happy with the colors that I chose. For contour, I'm going to use my Gucci bronzer and my Refer number 19 brush. I have my Gucci bronzer in shade number two, which is like a more cool tone shade and I really like it. I find that it looks really natural on my skin tone and it doesn't make me look too bronzy. It's perfect for this time of year because sometimes during the summer I do like to look bronzy. Lastly, I'm blending it on my jawline and the sides of my nose. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bronzer right here because I look a little pale. <laughs> Okay, I, I love that. For blush, I'm going to use my Tower 28 blush in the color Magic Hour. And I'm using my Refer number 31 brush to blend it in. Oh yeah. I love, 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 love this blush color and this blush formula. Over the summer, I think it was, I did a rankings of all of my liquid and cream blushes. And spoiler alert, this was number one right here. And with reason. I mean, I love the color, love the formula, love the pigmentation, love the blendability. It's amazing. And one of my favorite things about this blush is that it's not too warm or too cool. It's like right in the center. It's pretty neutral. So it goes with everything which I need because I'm going to put on a red lipstick and a nude lipstick. So I wanted a blush that would work with everything. And this one does. And then for highlighter, I'm going in with a little bit more of my Lisa Eldridge Illuminator. And I'm blending it in with a clean side of my sponge right there. Pretty, right? I love that. Okay. I wanna do something simple on my eyes because I want my lips to be the center of attention. I'm going to use the red lipstick last. So I'm going to use my Natasha Denona face palette in the color Transition here. And this is a refer number 16 brush. I'm just going to use it to place that color all over the crease of my eye. Okay, same thing over here, of course. A little bit of the color smoke on the tip of that same brush right here on the outer V, just very lightly, and right underneath the lower lash line as well. And then with my refer number one and the color outer corner, I'm just going to do a light wash of that shimmer all over my eyelid with my refer number one brush and a little bit of inner corner on the inner corner here. Let me put on some mascara. I was wondering why I did my makeup so fast and what was wrong with my face. And I just realized that I don't have any concealer on at all whatsoever. So let me fix that. A little bit of my Charlotte color corrector first right here. Check out what a difference already. And my concealer in number two from YSL. I'm going to do very little because I already did my blush and highlighter and all of that. And I'm going to blend it in with my Sonia Kashuk sponge. Pat McGrath under eye setting powder. Just a little bit right under here. And it's finally time to try on the lipsticks. By the way, besides mascara, I also used a little liner in my waterline. Everything on my face will of course be linked down below. So first I want to try the gloss. This one is in the color Muse, and I'm not going to line the lips, I'm just going to use it as is, see if that works. Um, if I have to line the lips, I'll let you know. I'm very excited about this color right here. Oh my god, I love it. Here is the gloss in the color Muse. 
And the best thing about it is that it is not sticky. You get all this beautiful natural color, you get all of this shine and juiciness, and not sticky at all whatsoever, which is very exciting. Obviously, I am in love with this because this right here is exactly the type of lip color that I am very comfortable and I am used to wearing, so this is a yes. Now, I left the red lipstick for last because I want to wear it for the rest of the day and I'm very excited about another Lisa Eldridge red and it looks so beautiful. Okay, I took the gloss off. Let's go on with the lipstick. I had a few questions in my last video where I was trying lipsticks of whether or not I had lip injections and I did. I had lip injections like two weeks ago. I was freaking out at first because I hated them, but now I love them. My lips were just extremely swollen for like five days and I was like, what have I done to my face? But I really like them now. Now, I'm not sure if I would put myself through that again because it was very freaking painful, okay? Anyways, let's try on this beautiful lipstick. I haven't even swatched it yet. Should I swatch it first? No, let's just go for it. Oh my god. <laughs> This was the best I could do without a lip liner, which is not terrible, but I do have my lip liner in the color Jazz, so I'm going to try and fix the edges a little bit with it. Okay, I think I fixed it a little bit with that um, lip liner, and this is what the color looks like. This is a much brighter red. I think I'm a little bit more comfortable with the darker one from last time, but I really do like this one. And I have been in the hunt for beautiful red lipsticks for the holiday season, and I think this definitely qualifies right here. Let me show you a swatch of this lipstick next to Velvet Jazz from my previous video. There you have it. So the darker one is Velvet Jazz from last time and the brighter one is the color Ribbon, which is the one I'm wearing right now. Both of them are absolutely stunning reds. I don't like warm toned reds, so all of the reds that I'm kind of picking up are going to be neutral or blue toned um, because I feel like those are the ones that suit my complexion better. I don't like orange or warm lipsticks in general. So this is it right here and I really, really love it. Plus I feel like blue toned lipsticks make your teeth look very very white which is definitely a feature that we all love right okay so that is everything i bought from lisa eldridge the foundation i am absolutely loving the lipsticks i'm loving that gloss was spectacular every single thing i've tried from her i love the illuminator from this video i'm very curious if you have it let me know if yours also has the little balls of pigment in it because that was something that i really wasn't expecting and I thought it was a little weird. I don't know if I got a dud or if that's just the way that it's supposed to be. I do think that mine worked nicely, but I just, I don't know, I was not expecting the little balls of pigments. So let me know in the comment section if you have it, whether or not yours has the same things. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up before you leave. If you have any favorite Lisa Eldridge lipsticks, please let me know down in the comment section which ones they are so that I can look them up and see if I want them for myself. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for being here. Don't forget to please subscribe before you leave and I hope to see you back in the next video. Bye.